Okay, we're going to do a demonstration for Lab 8, Activity 1, where we're going to study the energy stored in a spring in a cart. That compression is going to fire the cart through the photo gate, and that's going to give us a velocity. And from that velocity, we're going to be able to compare the kinetic energy that the cart acquires to the potential energy stored in the spring. To do that, um, we first have to determine how much potential energy there is actually stored in the spring. And to do that, of course, you need to know what the spring constant is. And if you recall, we've done spring constant before. The spring constant is the amount of force that it takes to compress the spring a given distance. Okay, to measure the spring constant, we're going to connect the force sensor to our analog port. Come over to your computer. Then we're going to go to the directory where you found your setup files previously, Physics 107 Labs. Inside of Physics 107 Labs, you'll find, of course, Lab 8, and you'll see a series of activities, uh, setup files there. The activity file that you'll want to use for determining the spring constant is called Lab 8 Activity 1 Spring K.CMBL. So double click on that should bring it up for you. Okay, we're gonna take the plunger release mechanism. That's this little button right here. We're gonna hold it down and we're gonna press the plunger against the force plate until we reach, say, our first position. Then we'll come over to our program and we'll click keep. As a placeholder, we'll just put in one there to hold it. We'll actually later enter the actual values. Then we'll come down and hold it at the second position Click keep, put in the two, hold it down to the third position, click keep, just put in three there. And when we've collected those three data points there, we'll click stop. You'll see we have our three data points that we took. The slope of that line, of course, will be our spring constant. You'll need a ruler to measure the distance that you've compressed the spring. On the plunger, there are a series of three marks labeled one, two, and three. Those marks then will allow you to determine how much you've compressed the spring. With your meter stick, measure the, the full extension position, push it into the first position, write that down, push it into the second position, write that down, push it into the third position, write that down. And by taking the differences, you'll then enter those values into your table of data here in place of the one, two, and three, the actual values. Remember to save your data files as always so that you have them for future reference. So when we come to measuring the velocity of the cart going through the photo gate, we want to disconnect the force probe and we want to connect the photo gate to the digital port. We know the photo sensor, the photo gate as it's called, is working if we pass an object through it we'll see a little indicator light up here. Then we're going to come over here to the directory where we have found our files before. The file is called lab 8 act 1 spring launch. When you double click on that it'll bring it up. It's got a place to display the velocities here, a place to enter the width of the card that's on the cart and you'll need to make sure that you measure that and enter that in if you want the, the computer to calculate the velocities correctly. So when we place the cart on the track, we'll place a 3x5 card folded longwise, put a 250 gram weight in there to hold it, and then if we just move it through the gate, we'll, we'll see that the, the gate is actually sensing that card. And what we'll do is we'll click the, the, the collect button, set our plunger to the desired position that we're going to launch, and using something like a pencil or a pen to gently push the release button, we can then fire it through the gate, catching it before it rolls back through the gate. You'll note that, that on the screen we see immediately without making any other actions that it actually measured the velocity of that first time through the, through the cart. And we don't want to stop it at each time because that would create a new data set for each. We want to just collect 10 trials in a row. So we'll just do a few of them here to illustrate how it's done.
When we have 10 data runs, we want to click stop. We'll have a series of runs here and we're going to highlight those runs that we have. We only have, took three this time and we'll use the statistics function that, to tell us the average. In this case, it's called the mean and the standard deviation for that data set. Don't forget to put the use the control L or the last data set uh, save function so that it remembers to keep the data uh, from that first run. Um, then go ahead and label your data sets so that you know which data set represents which uh, launching position that you were in. When you're ready to do the position two, you'll come over here and click collect again and then repeat the same procedure, firing it 10 times through the photo gate, like that. When you're done with two, stop it, start again, collect data 10 times for position one. Once you've got the velocities, of course, then you can calculate the kinetic energy, and you can compare that then to the potential energy stored in the spring. All right, good luck.